feet. Well, apparently not in the USA. So let's find out which 10 international burgers put American burgers to shame. I can show you the world. The Smokey Burger from New Zealand. Smokey! Smokey! The Stars and Stripes may have perfected the art of the classic hamburger, but it's not a delicacy strictly unique to the good old USA. Americans love their hamburgers, to the tune of 50 billion burgers being sold every single year across the country. The popularity of the American-style beef and bun combination has not only spread across the country, but across the world, even as far as New Zealand. New Zealand, that's where they, uh, that's where they made Lord of the Rings. At the forefront of the movement in Kiwi country is the city of Wellington's first ever burger bar, Burger Liquor. Open in 2014, Burger Liquor focuses on locally sourced and handcrafted eats with the slogan, In Farms We Trust. There, you can wash down your burger with a selection of beers, cocktails, and boozy milkshakes, as well as a special selection of rums and bourbons. And the best thing to wash down is their flagship dish, the Smoky Burger. The self-proclaimed world-famous burger is a grade-A beef patty topped with buttermilk onion strings, cheese, mayo, smoky bacon, and smoked barbecue sauce on a brioche bun. It's enough meaty goodness that you might want to double up with the Double Smoky, which packs twice the beef and twice the cheese. Jeez, sounds like it's worth a trip to the Southern Hemisphere. I'm still on New Zealand time. The Sweet Bambi in New Zealand. I could even eat a baby, dear. La, 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 la. Located on New Zealand's South Island is the famous Ferg Burger, and they've got more than one twist on the classic hamburger. Their hamburger was once named the best burger on the planet by CNN in 2015, an opinion echoed by pop star Ed Sheeran three years later when he called Ferg Burger the best burger in the world. The restaurant has also been visited by NFL stars like Brandon Cooks and is a favorite of local New Zealand rugby clubs. Ferg Burger's local legend grew from humble beginnings. First opening in 2001 and operating out of a garage that was off the beaten path, customers were attracted to the mystery of its obscure and unique location. Fans were also drawn to the uniqueness of what has evolved into the modern menu at the brick-and-mortar location, which is situated next to a bakery owned by the restaurant that makes all the burger buns by hand, and an ice cream shop that they also own. Ferg Burger's menu runs the gamut of patty types that range from classic beef to lamb, codfish, venison, pork and chicken combos, and falafel. One of their signature dishes gets its name from a beloved cartoon character and might almost be as popular as The Simpsons themselves. Named the Chief Wiggum after Springfield's police chief, this burger's main ingredient is slow-roasted pork belly, but another burger with a cartoon name might be their main attraction. The Sweet Bambi is a wild venison burger centered around wild fjordland deer, a chutney made of boysenberry and caramelized onion, lettuce, tomato, red onion, and aioli topped with brie cheese. It's a burger so good, it might make you forget all about the sad ending to that Bambi movie. Movie. Bambi, don't be nervous. First time here? Well, what are you waiting for? Take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. The Mac Daddy from London. A total zaddy, huh? There's an old saying that says, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But in this case, these burger barons might have even outdone the original. Founded by two friends after a 2013 trip to New York City, Dirty Bones Restaurant has four locations in London, England, and their newest is situated in the Shoreditch neighborhood of London's East Side. The whole atmosphere is based on their slogan of good vibes and high fives, as they aim to replicate the NYC nightlife style of cocktails and eats by incorporating Brooklyn-inspired ambiance alongside a soundtrack of hip-hop, funk, and soul music. And of course, that New York experience wouldn't be complete without great burgers. Was it a... an experience? Staying true to the American concept, Dirty Bones sticks close to a traditional burger experience with what they've dubbed the classic, topping a double dry-aged steak burger with that mandatory American cheese, as well as red onion, pickles, and relish on a seeded brioche bun. But their big draw is a step up from that level, appropriately dubbed the Mac Daddy. It's a double dry-aged steak patty topped with pulled beef short rib, its namesake mac and cheese, and an espresso-infused barbecue sauce that provides some kick and a little pick-me-up. It's a burger notorious enough to make NYC proud. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? The El Chapo from London. How are you gonna get El Chapo to help? 
Another London location slinging beefy goodness has also started its business in a unique location, and it's not interested in leaving. Lucky Chip originally operated as a food truck in London's famous Nettle Market, breaking into the burger biz in 2011. As an artisanal market, Nettle pays host to street vendors and mom-and-pop shops, becoming a hot spot for both locals and tourists. Just two years after their food truck founding, Lucky Chip evolved into a brick-and-mortar restaurant in the market and remains there today. They've become so popular that Lucky Chip even expanded, adding another London location and one in neighboring Kent County. In England, that is. They've marketed themselves with a Hollywood angle by naming burgers after famous movie stars like the Kevin Bacon and the Kelly LeBrock, and classic movie references like a Pulp Fiction Royale with cheese and a vegetarian Goonies referenced burger called the Truffle Shuffle. But their most unique attraction is the El Chapo Burger, which features a 32-day aged beef patty that is topped with smoked bacon, roasted jalapenos, blue cheese, and aioli. With combinations that good, we hope market visitors don't let the El Chapo live up to its namesake and let it get away. So it was smuggled in. The double happiness from Hong Kong. Wow, I'm so happy. I am so deliriously happy. For more international burger fare, we go to Hong Kong and an upscale burger experience called The Butcher's Club. Launched in the spring of 2013, The Butcher's Club restaurants are the culmination of a group of chefs chasing burger perfection, and their efforts have earned them the distinction of being listed in the Michelin Guide in 2016 and 2017. And although its flagship locations are anchored in Hong Kong, The Butcher's Club provides a truly global experience with locations in Indonesia and China while sourcing their beef from New South Wales in Australia. Through nose-to-tail butchery, the Australian beef is then shipped to a specific storage facility on Hong Kong Island, where each cut of beef gets dry-aged to create different flavor profiles. Keep it dry. Keep it dry. From there, the beef doesn't get ground until it reaches the restaurant, where patties are made and minced to order right in front of the customer, before heading back to the grill to be cooked to perfection. The flagship burger of this bougie brand is the Double Happiness Burger, which is two dry-aged beef patties with double cheese and every fixin' in the restaurant, squeezed between two whole grilled cheese sandwiches. Other burger faves on the menu include slider-styled Slim Shady, the Wu-Tang, and the fish-pattied Captain Ahab. The burger names alone make the Butcher's Club an international burger heaven. Is this heaven? The Sweet Bomb in Tokyo. Bomb, bomb threats, threats aren't the bomb. bomb. Japan's take on burgers keeps rising up in the world rankings, and the metropolis of Tokyo resides Black Cow's Restaurant, which is centered around an American-inspired aesthetic complete with thick-cut potato steak fries. Like the Butcher's Club in Hong Kong, the beef here is also top shelf, as Black Cow's is also owned and operated by a butcher, and the freshly hand-ground, house-carved beef is 100% kuroge wagyu. As a specialty of Japan and one of the world's most desired meats, wagyu beef can only come from four specific Japanese-born breeds of cow, which lends itself to highly marbled and flavorful meat that carries a buttery, melty texture that's different from anything stateside. This place, it's Japanese, is it not? Customers can catch a view of the whole handmade process as Black House features windows into the kitchen, which they call the Patty Factory. A customer favorite is the Golden Ratio Burger, which features a Wagyu patty topped with bacon, barbecue sauce, tartar sauce, and 18-month-aged cheddar cheese. The emperor of this establishment, though, is the Sweet Bomb Burger that loads a patty with mushrooms, maple sauce, gorgonzola cheese, bacon, hazelnuts, sour cream, and honey mustard. Once that burger hits Instagram, it may be hard to take a bite once the Sweet Bomb starts blowing up your phone. Put your phone down. Now. The BCP Burger in Sweden. I really don't know what the letters actually stand for. <laughs> Sweden might be best known for their ski chalets, IKEA, and ABBA records, but in the capital of Stockholm, it's known for good old-fashioned hamburgers. Flippin' Burgers is the place to be in that regard, where their first-come, first-served, no-reservations policy keeps the place packed every day, since they're open seven days a week. The secret of Flippin' Burgers' success can be found in their slogan, Great Meat, Good Bread, No Secrets, which was pioneered by owner John Videgren. He's burger-obsessed enough to have even written a literal book on hamburgers, which is also called Flippin' Burgers, and it shows through in his restaurant's craftsmanship. All right, because you're a writer! The 
joint itself is a retro American diner style classic right down to the neon lights and checkered floorboards, and the burgers and milkshakes live up to the style. The beef is locally sourced, and the buns come fresh out of the oven from a bakery down the street. At the top of this proverbial Scandinavian mountain for flippin' burgers is the BCP Burger that tops the locally sourced beef with organic, nitrate-free bacon harvested from local free-range pigs alongside American cheese, pickles, mustard, and ketchup. Sounds flippin' fantastic. The Sarah number 7 in Iceland. Lucky number 7. Iceland is 1,200 miles west of Sweden, located in the Norwegian Sea, and this fellow Nordic nation might be even crazier about burgers. And move over Wendy, because these guys are also in on the square patty game. The aptly named Hamburger Factory has three locations in Iceland, and each one is quite serious about the art of the hamburger, with a mission statement that claims, we treat the hamburger like a steak, with the respect it deserves. I mean, it is just a burger. Just a burger. While the eyes are drawn to the 175-gram ribeye steak burger as the biggest on the menu, there's plenty of experimentation being done to draw your attention, too. Topping varieties range from peanut butter to bacon jam to white truffle honey to estragon mushrooms, and these fanciful combinations make this a true burger destination. The Burger Factory's star attraction is the Sarah No. 7, which is loaded up with grilled mushrooms, deep-fried kale, pickled red onion, avocado, lettuce, tomato, and and cheese. Plus, the house-made Sarah sauce, which is an exotic combination of garlic, dates, and chili mayo. Move over Wendy's, Iceland Sarah just might be the new square burger queen. You got room for two? Do I have room for two? The Fat Bob from Australia. Well, you're fat. You're fat, fat, fatty. In the land down under, it seems the Aussies have upped their burger game. With a restaurant name like Fat Bob's, the burgers have got to be good. And the name is authentic because Fat Bob is a real dude and the actual restaurant founder. He was inspired on a trip to the USA in 2011 when he decided to start his own man cave bar. Fat Bob's is tucked away in an industrial area in the city of Melbourne and is another place that takes its design cues from 1950s Americana roadside diners covered with vintage signage and neon lights. I am a 1950s man. There are over two dozen craft beers on the menu, and you'll likely need them after tackling the restaurant's namesake, the Fat Bob Burger. It's a nearly half-pound patty topped with classic tomato, red onion, cheese, bacon, and lettuce. But it also adds some interesting flair with pineapple, a fried egg, and beets. Oh, and the secret Fat Bob sauce. Sounds like the Fat Bob is large and in charge. I bow! I bow before thee, sir! The Famous Works from Australia. Okay, well, I don't, know how, I don't really know how famous it is. An Australian mainstay for decades, Paul's Famous Hamburgers also pumps out some awesome Aussie fast food. Open yeah. for business at the same location since 1957 and having only two owners in that span, Paul's is a stripped-down beachside classic, slinging burgers and shakes from a countertop with bench seating. Burgers were first sold for a whopping 15 cents when the shack first opened, which was previously a fruit stand before being sold and swapped to a burger joint. Are you eating? eating forbidden fruit. It's a favorite of the local surfers and beach bums, but has a big enough reputation to attract fans from the nearby city of Sydney just half an hour away. Their marquee attraction is the Famous Works Burger, which contains lettuce, tomato, bacon, raw onion, and cheese, as well as egg and pineapple. We've heard of surf and turf, but this just might be the new definition. I'll have the surf and turf. Order up more great videos. Just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notifications squad.